Hi, my name is Garrett Dance and welcome to my mental illness presentation. My topic is going to be depression. So first about depression. Depression is a mental condition characterized by feelings of hopelessness and sadness. Depression also typically comes with feelings of guilt, lack of energy, appetite, sleep, and also the feeling of not being good enough. Depression can also lead to physical issues and will affect your mood. So some signs and symptoms of depression. Um, the first one is going to be your mental and personality signs. So these mean like trouble concentrating and making decisions, fatigue, um, feelings of guilt and worthlessness. Um, you get irritated easy. Um, you don't really have an appetite. You're over, you can be overeating, um, and you have thoughts, or you've attempted suicide. Uh, and then we have physical signs of depression, and these are aches, pains, headaches, uh, long-lasting cramps, joint pains, back pains, bloating, indigestion, and weight loss or weight gain. Um, symptoms and signs of depression must last two weeks before a diagnosis. So some statistics about depression. Uh, women are more likely to become depressed than men are. Uh, 350 million people worldwide suffer from depression, which is 5% of the world. Suicide is the second leading cause of death from people ages um, 15 to 44. Uh, teen depression affects 10 to 15% of teens. 11% of adolescents have some form of depression by the age of 18. Um, depression is the leading cause of disability in the U.S. among people ages 14 to 44. So what causes depression? Depression can be caused by a number of things, but they can be prevented. Uh, some causes are like your family history, uh, your personality, um, medical illnesses, uh, you're abusing drugs or you're abusing alcohol, or you're just really, you're really stressed. So ways you can prevent this, there's many, um, natural lifestyle changes you can make to help prevent uh, depression. Some of the lifestyle changes you can make are exercise. Uh, social support from friends and family, a new nutrition diet, uh, sleep and stress reduction. You can also start getting out in nature more like going on walks, um, just spending more time with yourself and your surroundings to get, your know your, to get to know yourself more. So treatments of depression. Depression is a treatable illness, but since there isn't an exact known point of being free of it, it's hard to know when you're cured of depression. So uh, some of the treatments for depression are therapists, um, medications, of course, vitamins, supplements, um, and then you can go to treatment, treatment facilities or rehab um, centers. But let's talk about the cost of these treatments and care. So some medicines used to treat depression can range from $30 to $200 a month. Therapy sessions can cost up to $100 per hour and treatment centers can cost you $20,000 a month just for depression rehab. Um, so top 10 treatment centers, um, Sierra Tucson Depression Treatment Center in Arizona, Hollywood Pavilion in Florida, Walden Behavioral Care, Massachusetts, Bay Ridge Anxiety and Depression Treatment Center in Ontario, Connecticut Anxiety and Depression Treatment Center in Connecticut, Youth Care Residential Treatment Center in Utah, uh, Anxiety and Depression Treatment Center in Newport Beach, California, 
Skyland Trail in Atlanta, and Sunset Malibu's Depression Treatment Center in Malibu, California. And that's just the top 10. There's many, many more. And that is it for my presentation. I hope you liked it.